Hey guys, welcome back. I've got um, my three yard quilt that I've been working on. So if you've been following along and watching part one and two, I was gonna do part three today. And then I realized that I screwed up. So if you're new here, welcome. Sorry that this may be your first video you've seen of mine that was a screw up, but I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So this is just goes along with sewing. So if you are new to sewing, don't worry, I've been sewing, I'm now 46, I've been sewing since I was in middle school, and you will continue to screw up. <laughs> but the key is to not give up and to learn how to fix it. So I just got into quilting a couple years ago. I really love it. I never thought I would, but my favorite books are these three yard quilts. So I was doing a little sewing along and I just hadn't had time to get back to do part three and then I started looking at it and someone had made a comment I'm like she's like I think you picked up the wrong fabric and I'm like I don't know if I did or not so now that I'm sitting here looking at it I sure did <laughs> so I'm going to share with you my screw up um, so if you mess up you can feel like me <laughs> but it's not the end of the world I can fix this I am gonna have to probably go get some more fabric which thankfully I got at Joann's and I'm pretty sure they probably still have it and if not it's not the end of the world this isn't going to totally so this is the block that I made and I am now realizing I picked up um, I didn't have my I wasn't paying attention to which was fabric one two or three so this block right here is supposed to be this fabric right here so this block is supposed, this is the correct block. This is the wrong block. So now what I'm gonna have to do and what I will show you, no, I'm not gonna start crying even though I probably should. <laughs> so I've got a new project to do while I watch TV and I've got 12 squares and I'm just going to take it apart. So I'm just going to get my little, uh, best friend here, the seam ripper. So if you've done any sewing whatsoever, the first tool you need to have and that you will always need to have is a seam ripper. So I'm going to take this out. And I'll show you. We'll redo one. Because I kept, then I was uh, ready to move on to the quilt assembly step that I was going to do with you guys. And then I realized, oh, I did this wrong. So um, we're going to be, we are, this is three yard quilt part three, fixing my screw up. <laughs> so go ahead and laugh, it's fine. Let me see if I can get this apart. I'll show you. Just, so we're just taking this apart carefully, you know, and especially if you have a new seam ripper, just be really careful because they are super sharp when you get a brand new one. I probably need a new one. So we're just going to take the sides off, strip it down. So the blue polka dot, oops, is, I'm gonna have to go, I might be able to piece this together. I wanna see what it looks like, cause, um, so what this actually, was going to be used for was the border. Um, is that navy polka dot? So, get this undone. So, I'm just taking this apart just very carefully, like this. And you just want to, I'm going to show you right here, I'm just trying to break these stitches right there, and you can kind of just get your seam ripper, pluck it, and then it'll a couple apart. And just so it's not the end of the world. Is it time consuming? Yes, but I was just making this for fun because I like to make these and give them as gifts, so I just kind of have them on hand. So, thankfully, there's no deadline to get this done. <laughs> but now I get to show you. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking this apart, okay? 
and then we will put the new sides on and reassemble real quick. And again, I'm just doing the three yard quilt, which is kind of like a lap size. So I only have 12 squares, so it's not like I had a big um, queen size or anything where I'd really skirt it up. But, you know, things happen. So let me get this. So now I'm stripping it down because this is our base. And I had to go back. I was like, I don't know how I did that, but someone did notice it. I just hadn't had time to sit down and look at it. That's when I need you all. To... <laughs> like, no, don't do that. <laughs> But I think that's how I have learned to sew all the things I know how to sew is because if you mess it up, you got to learn how to fix it. Okay. Oh, I dropped it. Where did I go? Okay. So we're, we are down to this basic square. I'm getting the correct strip, and we are going to sew this strip to either side first. So let me get that done. Do that first. So we sew it to this and then we just want to cut this off even and straight. So we're going to unfold that. Now we're going to put the other side on. Okay, now we have, and I'm gonna stitch this, this came undone a little bit, but we have these two pieces. So we're gonna sew one with this at the top, and then you do the other side opposite. So let me get this block put back together and we'll get this square situated again, and we'll be back in business, and then I'll keep working on the other ones. Okay, so now we're going to build the sides. that so now that we have the yellow up here this side the instructions we want the yellow down here
And this, whichever way you want to look at it, is the correct way, I guess this is the correct way the square is supposed to look. Not like this. So now I'm going to go and fix all these. <laughs> and then we will work on the quilt assembly video number four. So I too make mistakes <laughs> and spend a lot of quality time with my good old seam ripper. Um, but as long as you know how to fix things and just take the time, um, probably when I was back in middle school or high school, when I was uh, learning to sew, there are many projects I didn't know how to fix and they went in the trash and I just started over. I know how to fix this. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to, and we will get it uh, put back together. Just be a slight delay in video. So thanks for joining me. I hope you got a good laugh. <laughs> Maybe you can relate. Um, usually if I um, do any late night sewing, that's when things go haywire. So I don't do a lot of late night sewing because I've learned from my mistakes that when I'm tired, then that's when things get screwed up and I just need to stop. But unfortunately, I wasn't even tired. I was probably just trying to focus on doing a video and just grab the wrong fabric and cut it, but it's not the end of the world. So just keep that in mind. But Thanks for joining me. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button or hit the little bell icon and get notified for our next videos. I'm going to go and get the rest of these um, fixed up. So look for my next step video um, maybe next week as I prep the new, the new square so that we can put the quilt together correctly and it looks correct. So, but anyway, be sure to check out these books. They are available on Amazon. I'll put a link to them. Um, these uh, three yard quilts. Um, I'm going to be getting some to sell on my website as well because I absolutely love them. And um, check them out because on the back, these are all the patterns. So you get multiple um, patterns on your eight patterns. Um, but they're just really fun and quick and easy, you know, for beginners. And you do have to pay attention because this is my first one. I've made many of these and this is the first one I switched the fabric. So just wanted to share with you. It happens. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to get back to uh, fixing my squares and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.